In this video, we're going to cover step-by-step -step instructions to create a Microsoft Fabric free trial account using step-by-step -step instructions. So if you are preparing any or doing any hands-on lab in for Microsoft Fab Fabric, or if you are preparing for certification DP700, which is Microsoft Certified uh, Fabric Data Engineer, or DP600, which is Microsoft Certified Fabric Data Analytics Engineer, then this hands-on lab will be useful as well. Now, there are multiple ways to create a user-specific step uh, instructions, and this video or the guide, uh, the video has been taken from our training program, so there might be some references or links. Please ignore that, but I'm, below this video, I'm going to share the step-by-step -step instructions that's being used in this guide, and also I'm preparing, I'm planning to do a certification DP700 and DP600 preparation uh, free class, so check that in the video, below this video, check in the description section about links to, about use, using those, how to register for those as well. And if you're new to, if you're new to this channel, my name is Atul. I've been working more than two decades, two and a half decades in IT, and I've gone from earning less than $100 a month to now earning in excess of £1,000 a day here in the UK as well. So with that, let's go in straight and look at the... Now with that, first let's cover in what are the different ways to create Microsoft Fabric account. I'll give you all the options available, and then we'll talk about the free account that we use from using Microsoft Azure Cloud Way, and I'll explain you, once you understand the different ways and the challenges with we are hitting, or you might hit, so I'll explain you wh why we are using uh, to create using free Azure account um, as well. So let's first look at the different ways, and first you can create using Power BI Pro Professional License as well. So option one, or you can use Power BI uh, PPU, which is a premium per user license, or you can use Power BI premium capacity. So by that, you might have understood that it comes mainly for Power BI from a Power BI point of view. Also, you can create a Microsoft free Fabric free trial, and that is what I'm going to focus on this in this particular video. Now, in order to create a free trial account, um, you can either use from a fa Fabric trial page, which will show you, or from Power BI services. We are going to use fab uh, Fabric free, free trial account as well. Now, in order for this to create a free trial account, you need either a work email address or a school email address as well. You can't run Gmail. If you're trying to go use G Gmail, you might run into issues like that, which I'm going to share this video guide link as well, so you can refer and where to find this guide as well. So in this particular case, if you start using Gmail, it will be, it probably would say that, hey, this is a personal email address. It's not allowed uh, at the time of recording this video. Uh, or if you try to use uh, your company account, which I've tried using a company account, uh, it says that, hey, uh, your organization currently doesn't allow Microsoft Fabric free to purchase this Microsoft Fabric free. Free. That means you have to have a setting at a um, at a company level, organization level, that to also collaboration with Microsoft in order to do that. And your company might have that permission, but they may not allow you, or you may not even possible for your organization. So now the only option left is because I've run out of both work or school email address, and the only option left is to create some kind of a cloud or some some kind of a account which looks like to my uh, to Microsoft uh, to uh, Microsoft as a coming from a professional organization. And that's where we use something Microsoft Azure Cloud account. So what happens, just to give you some context of when you create, is when you create a Microsoft Azure Cloud account, it's going to give you a user ID, which you'll understand later when I show it to you. You'll create a user ID uh, or create a user in, uh, in um, Azure, which is called as Azure. Within Azure, there is a, uh, as a, um, Active Directory or an organization level directory, which is called as Enter ID. Earlier, it used to be Azure Active Directory. We're going to create a user in that, and whatever email address that we come from there, that's what we're going to use to create a uh, free trial account. That's what we are. That's what I hope you understand this. Uh, so this is what we're going to cover, and, uh, and further, I'll share this link so you can watch this. Um, um, any other thing related to the key points, I'm not going to go. I want to straight jump on to creating this account now. So as a prerequisite, first and most important thing is you should have a free account on Azure Cloud because that's what we're going to use to create. Otherwise, you'll hit issues like I mentioned earlier. Now, how to create a free account? There'll be a video link just here. Click on this link and there you will have a step-by-step -step instructions to create a free account. If you hit any problem in creating a free account, you can click on this link or open this thread and you can post your question in that as well. Now the only challenge you see, I see on free Azure. So there are two accounts. 
one is the fabric account that we have eventually create but then i'm talking about right now microsoft azure which is a cloud account so that we can get a global or a user which looks like an organizational user um, in order to create that fabric account so now when you're creating a free account if you might have used a free account in the past then microsoft won't let you so it's worth totally in my view create a upgrade to pay as you model and, and if you created what to follow again click on this link it will explain so i'm assuming you already have a free account and then once you have a free account then you click on open this link and that is the document which i'm referring to create this particular thing so let me go back to the pre section you already have created there will be other links you can refer to create a free account which i'll probably leave below this video you can read further i'm not going to go on detail on here i already have created a free account which is uh, which i'll log out from here i created two days back i'll log out and create it right from scratch everything this year this is how the fabric look like so with that let's go back to this prerequisite section we've already created now as i said uh, first thing is we in order to create we need to create a microsoft entra id um, user id inside the azure portal so how to do that is let me go and straight to here so you go to portal.azure.com this is assuming you already have a azure account if not pause this video create a azure account and then come back to this video again here so i'm trying to log in to this user id which is i've already logged into this user id on here now so earlier i mentioned about android this is the android i was talking about this is same thing similar not exactly but you have a microsoft active directory this is where your users everything will reside so under that there you're going to go on to the users and that's where you go and create a user id that we are going to create on here once you come here you uh, say create and create a new user uh, on here now this is where you're going to use uh, a name so make sure that uh, you remember the name so i'm going to use that name and say atul maybe i'll say atul cash or whatever it's my daughter's name so atul cash just one word and earlier i mentioned for my atul aryan that's my son's name uh, so i'll save it this name i'll put it in notepad and remember this so that i'll be using this later part so i'll save this atul cash uh, and now the domain name we are going to use this is important user principal name it doesn't like if you use k academy which is my company account which is registered with this uh, as your entry id um, that organization have to give a permission i'm assuming you don't have that permission and that is where you're going to create this domain which is uh, mail dot you can use three domains or subdomains we are using uh, so we are using this domain and then put this the this is what i need to know copy and this is the domain which i'm going to leverage user later so it's for atul cash and this whole domain name i'm going to give a display name it will automatically pick up this display name so atul and this is let's suppose kashish and then i'll copy paste the password whatever is the password copy and save this password i'm going to delete this user so don't try to log in onto my enter id this is the user id which i've shared here and click on re so i'll not select a, oh sorry let me select copy paste again and go here now i've picked up a different password which is fine and say review and create and we've right now we are still in azure enter id microsoft azure cloud uh, you got this member we leave it default and click on create here now once the we have successfully created the user it will show it to you here which is atul cash maybe i'll refresh this again and this user will be well we need to make this name of this this user id so you can copy this particular clipboard and again just verify that this is the one this is the correct one now get look at me uh, one dot mail dot omnicraft uh, as well here with that now once you've created a user this is the user which we are going to use to create our free account in microsoft and uh, fabric now that's why i was talking about earlier so now we are going to use pick up this url which is a trial user app dot fabric dot microsoft dot com now don't do it on the same window as this because i've already logged in as my, with my colleague's email address and if you try to do it on the same window here which are let let me go back on to forgot to copy the url and if you try to do why oh, it's not being copied um copy and then we'll put it this url for some reason it's not picking up dismiss copy paste thing is not allowed uh, so so i'll make a note of app.fabric dot i'll pause this so 
I've copied this on URL. I've tried to do this. It's trying to log in to the ID which is already used, which is uh, on my colleague's user ID and which I don't want to use. And that's otherwise, if you try to do it, you may hit issues. So that's why we're going to do, because if, let, let's see, it's trying to log in, it's signing up because this user should now, this is a actual my super admin user uh, that's trying to log in here. So we'll not, in the meantime, I'll show it to you open an in, incognito video, window. So it's basically, it's saying you're signing with this uh, and Microsoft, have, I don't know to use this account because later it might create problems. So I'm going to open an incognito window and we'll use this user ID, which I've created just now. So already, I already logged in from this ID. So I want to show it to you from scratch what you want to do. So this is where sign in and it'll be, sorry, so this is the way we are going to use the user ID that we have created earlier. Click on next here. And this is where the password which we created the password earlier. And because your first time logging in, it's asking us to reset the password. So we'll reset the password. I'll put it number 25 at the back and click on sign in. So make a note of it that, that you have saved as a 25. This is the new password. Uh, let me cancel this. Now, what it's saying is that it requires you to set up an additional, which is a Microsoft Authenticator app. It's a pretty straightforward. Uh, you can do it later. You can do it now as well. I'll just show it to you, or maybe I'll refer to that for now. We can do it later because my fo focus is to show it to you uh, how to create a free um, Fabric account. But I'll, this is just a, we are setting up a user that you need to do. Let me show it to you in a documentation here uh, so that you can understand. So what you're going to do is you're going to if you want to set up Authenticator, which is to log in, which is a good practice, you are going to, on your phone, which is could be Android phone or Apple phone, you download Microsoft Authenticator. And then on this screen here, you click next, next, you'll come to this screen like this, and you could, you could scan your phone, uh, add this application. And then when you add, you say work or school account, and then scan the QR code. And when you scan the QR code, which is given on this page, which will come, uh, then you can register and log in and basically you're saying allowing this user that we have created just now to log in through the Authenticator app. For now, I'll say I have a 14 days, so I'll say ask me later. I'm not going to use that because I want to save time. Otherwise, I'll go to phone. I have to download a lot of other things as well. So I'm just trying to say log in from here. Now, this is where it's going to be signing up and this is where it will go and attempt. Now, this is where saying uh, this is now we are logging in signing up and saying what email address that you want and this is the email address that we've selected or created from here so select this id and click on and say next now we are on actual um, account for microsoft fabric and say click on sign in it's going to be prompt and that is where authenticator will uh, need if i create an authenticator app now in this case i'm going to select my country code which is United Kingdom, you'll need the phone number. So I'll pause this recording right now and I'll give you the phone number. I don't want to show the phone number. So I'll click on the get started and then I'll click. That's what you need to be doing after giving your phone number. So now I've gave it and then it's saying, thanks for signing up and then click on get started. And uh, that's where it's preparing an environment for me, which is a app.fabric.microsoft.com. That is a URL for Microsoft Fabric. Now it's setting up all the things in the background. So it'll it's saying that it will take a few minutes. I'll pause this recording and come back once the account is ready, probably next few minutes only. Now that's pretty much, it says now uh, if logged in and it started a tour, it will give you the high level overview. And in the next future subsequent videos, we're going to talk about this, all these screens one by one. So just to show you, you just click and you can either cancel or start tour. And it'll tell you that first of all, this is the home page. You can access everything from here. You click next. And this is where you have the navigation update like workspaces, one lake. We'll, we'll all cover that in future videos, what each of these are, including monitoring, real time, workloads, workspaces, and so on. So click on next. And this is where your, your specific work workspace. So workspace is not a collective uh, a space where you, whatever you create resources within your fabric, they'll be under the workspace. Now, by default, you get a workspace. Each user gets a workspace, but then also there's an organization level workspace. And what is workspace? What is the settings we're going to cover in future videos? So don't need to worry about for now. Just go through, click on next here. And then this is where you 
you can know more about the knowledge or fabric knowledge and click on done that's pretty much uh, on this now so you've successfully created a microsoft fabric account now what i want you to do is once this is done um, if you hit any problem or even if you've done it successfully go and post below this thread and say i'm uh, successfully created this microsoft fabric so i know that you're making progress so just below this video saying done successfully i'm just recording it so it will be uh, if you hit any problems you write that as well so that we can our team can help you as well so this is all uh, covered in this particular document or references here as well now there is so also some other accounts what all things you get as a part of microsoft free uh, this um, fabric account and anything and everything that you need to know now in next future videos i'm going to talk about is workspace how do you use work what is a workspace how do you do that and we'll go and create some other services like lake house and other things also apart from that you go through this video that i've covered all these components and what that is main components so make sure you watch uh, this particular video if you have not done and we're going to create all these things one by one lake house data factory uh, data engineering all those services that are part of this we are going to cover uh, as we move forward inside this program uh, so that's pretty much from now uh, for now to keep it short quick to the point you'll be watching this uh, on creating a free fabric account if you hit any problem as i said uh, leave this if you've also completed uh, this lab also talk about that as well and with that this is atul from team kitten academy i'll see you in another video take care and bye for now